Green Tech Network here again for my second tutorial on taking apart the Alienware M14X. For this video, I'm going to show you how to change out your uh, RAM if you want to upgrade it. So, what you're going to need is your M14X, obviously, and a mini Phillips screwdriver, which is just the one I have here. Um, you can see the uh, just a little wick one of those little hobby screwdrivers and you obviously need your new RAM that you're going to be upgrading and installing. I just have here two um, 4 gig sticks, so it's 8 gigs total. Uh, G-Skill RAM, which is pretty good. Um, so, to start this, you want to make sure that your laptop's completely shut down be because we do have to unhook the battery. Um, if it's hibernated or if it's just like asleep or whatever, and you undo the battery, then it can cause uh, windows to crash and stuff, which, um, you know, can mess your files up and stuff. So you're going to want to start by flipping over the laptop and you'll see that you have two screws here, one screw there and then one screw over there. You're going to want to unscrew those. And these screws are spring-loaded so you don't have to worry about unscrewing them too much and they won't fall out or anything. So once you get those two unscrewed you basically kind of push down and out that way with the bottom piece and that kind of just comes right off. So like I said, we have to unhook the battery just to make sure we don't um, short out anything while we're messing around with the RAM. So you'll see that the battery or the wires run from the battery into the motherboard here. So you just want to grab this kind of black plastic wrap. That's actually a little tab on it, I think. But I kind of grab it from here and you kind of wiggle it and pull up at the same time and it just comes right undone right out of the motherboard. So now that that's undone, um, it's time to take the RAM out, which you'll see here. Um, the RAM's inside underneath this little heat shield kind of thing, and there's two screws, one here and one here. So let me turn around this way, and you just want to unscrew those two screws. Um, these ones have like a little washer kind of thing behind them, so they don't unscrew too much either. So you have to worry about them falling out. Oh, and it's kind of like a little springy, and it's got two little tabs, and it just comes right out. So now that the heat shield's over, let me zoom in on the RAM itself so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, that's good, probably good enough. Um, so you'll see here, um, there's the two RAM sticks, one over top of another, and um, it has this kind of little, like, there's little tab things on the other side. So what you want to do is you just want to pull them out like that. There's that one. And then pull out this one. And it's kind of like spring-loaded, and it kind of just comes right up like that. And then you just pull it straight out. And then you just do the same thing with the other one. And it comes right out. So then you want to get your new RAM. And you want to start with the bottom one, obviously, because if you start with the top one, then you're not going to be able to fit the uh, bottom one in. And just make sure you match up the little, um, the little notch with the notch in the RAM slot. So you just push it straight in like that, kind of at like a 30 degree angle, and then you just push it down, and the little tabs hold it in place. And then do the same thing with the top one. And then that's it. And then you're good to go. So then just you know follow the video in reverse to put it back together. You just go put the heat sink on, and then plug the battery back in, and then put the back case on. And that's it. So for the next video, um, I'm going to show you how to go from a fully put together M14X to taking the CD drive out, which is right here. So if you have any questions, comments, um, anything, you know, feel free to message me or post comments on the video. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.